Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is uh, just one video in a series of tutorial videos showing uh, how to use my uh, motorcycle setup software, uh, which you can see more details of on my website at uh, www.tonyfowle.com. Is to uh, demonstrate the a new feature that was added from version 1.22 of the software, which enables us to adjust the ride height to uh, a new value, and the software will automatically calculate what changes we need to make to the physical parameters in order to achieve that um, particular ride height. Now, in the past, we were always able to change things like the uh, the, the the shock length or the length of the link or the coordinates of the shock mounting etc and then we could see what the new ride height was however there are many instances when we actually want to change the ride height by a specific amounts say raise the back of the bike 20 millimeters and we'd like to know what we have to do to either the length of the link or the length of the shock for example in order to achieve that change that's what the new uh, change a new feature in in the software does okay so initially if we click on the ride height it gives us the current ride height and here we enter in the ride height change that's not the new ride height but the actual change to the ride height so say we want to lift that 20 millimeters we enter 20 in here and depending on the design of uh, the suspension unit that we're uh, the suspension system that we're analyzing uh, we, we have different options here of how we can go about achieving that uh, change in the right height. In this, for this particular design of suspension, uh, we can either change the shock length, uh, the coordinates of the shock mounting, where the uh, shock actually mounts on the chassis. Uh, some bikes have an adjustable yoke where we can actually screw that in and out to change the coordinates of that mounting. Uh, or uh, we can elect to achieve the difference in ride height by changing the link length. In this particular case, let's do it by changing the link length. Now notice that we start off with a value of 225 and we've decided we want to raise the ride height of the machine by 20 millimeters. Uh, we've entered the value so if we just click on the apply change button we can see in that the change was reflected in the graphic and we've seen that what we have to do in this case is to change the link length to 235 millimeters okay and here it tells us what the actual change was it was 10.1 millimeters change in the length of the link to achieve the 20 millimeters change to the right height uh, we've got an undo button here where we can just simply undo those changes and turn to where we were before also uh, if we've applied the changes and then we want to uh, transfer those uh, changes to be the default uh, values for the um, uh, length of the link and the changes in the coordinates of the fixed points throughout the project then we can just click on update project if we do that then when we go to the uh, whole bike trim screen then the right height changes that we've made here will be reflected in the whole bike trim screen now there's just one other uh, feature that I'll demonstrate on this. Uh, it, say for instance, I'll just deliberately make the link length incorrect here, so that on, on that basis we've got a, a certain error between where the, the wheel sits and the road. Now the normal way of adjusting uh, that which we've had in the software from the uh, beginning is to click on the correct attitude button and it will recalculate all the coordinates of the fixed points in order to put the wheel on the ground. When we click on the ride height button and watch the graphic as I do this, you'll see that it does exactly the same thing as we would normally achieve by clicking on the correct attitude button as it enters into the screen for the change of the ride height. Because if you think about it, it would make no sense specifying changes in ride height if we hadn't actually got the uh, the correct parameters for the bike in the first place. Well, that's it for now. Uh, to make sure that you don't miss any uh, more of these tutorial videos on the motorcycle setup software, I suggest that you tick the like button on this one and subscribe to my YouTube channel.
motor chassis. Uh, for more information about the suspension setup software and uh, my book on chassis design, I suggest you visit my website at uh, www.tonyfoll.com. Thanks for watching.